Welcome to episode three <laughs> of Brink's Pump Track Build. Now myself, Ben and Jamie have returned to film this video, but Jamie has been very occupied and very busy here creating this magnificent venue and track for people to come and ride and enjoy. And today I've come and built a roll-in and I'm actually really stoked with the roll-in because it's one of the key ingredients to complete this entire place, to give speed, to enter the pump track with a bit of velocity, carry it round. And then it's always lap number two, I feel like where you're going fastest. So we haven't made the roll-in massive. It's a six foot roll-in and I have got a very cool build laps coming up shortly of building that and all the stuff that Jamie's done, but I like it. We need to finish it with dirt at the bottom of the walk up. That's the walk up that way. And then you drop in here. So you've got steps up one side and down the other. All my rollings I've built on my compound have steps up the bit you ride down. But here, which is gonna be, I presume, more busy than my compound, it's nice to keep that kind of one way system where no one's walking up the ride down. We wanna keep it like a proper carriage way. <laughs> so that's nice. Just a bit of dirt, whack a plate of dirt, we'll finish that and then it's ready to ride. So in this episode, I'm gonna ride as well after the build laps. Now, with it only being six foot tall, I undernard endlessly, relentlessly about whether to add a handrail because <laughs> I'm not a complete lunatic, but it is only six foot tall. So we've left that out and saved money. Um, this has all been tweaked. I mean, look how brilliant this berm, this 180 berm. Ben, you're gonna have to film the full sweeping berm. It's sick. Jamie's done a really good job of sweeping all the dust into the cracks. That trails technique I learned in lockdown last year. Jamie's adopted and he's made it look like that. So when tires hit this very shortly. Jamie's adopted? He's adopted the technique. Oh. So this is now an endless loop of epic pumpage. And some of the Brink guys, some of the staff have organized more dirt to be dropped off over there. That big 20 ton or 15 ton pile. So when we kind of stand back and let everyone enjoy this pump track, after the next couple of episodes, they're keen to add more features themselves, which I'm excited to see. The last thing, this is really cool. Do you remember in episode one, we brought the whacker plate in and struggled to use it because the dirt was too sticky. The whacker plate was picking up like slabs and sections of soft clay rather than packing it down. Well, a guy on Instagram called John Bagnato, I think, he's always sending me little digging techniques. He did it at my compound. He's done it again. He found this Instagram video where they lay a carpet or a tarpaulin on the sticky dirt, then whack a plate that. And Jamie's done that this morning. And this is the finish. It's actually the all time. It's changed the game. This looks so different to everything else here. I love it. It kind of tamps the water up to the surface. I mean, that is sticky and tacky, but it means you can whack a plate it. And it looks like I know what it looks the like. granite worktop. No. What do you think? Krispy Kreme sugar glazed donut. Sugar glazed ones. Yeah. I was going to say it looks like the bit you sit on in a hot tub when there's no water in it. Mm. You ever seen an empty hot tub? Yeah. Like that lazy spa sort of section? Yeah. yeah. Like that? Yeah. You'd go <laughs> like that, wouldn't you? We, we all know the feeling. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie, I'm walking on your whack plated section. <laughs> Should we go into the build laps? You can see what we've done, the changes, the modifications, and the epic rolling being constructed. Then I'll meet you up on there with my bike. But before we do that, let me just show you this over here. Oh, oh, oh. Here is one of the four built Marin San Quentin 3s. This is one of four. It actually is one of four. The ones I signed in the last episode. Now I think two of them are sold, which means there's two more remaining. I don't know if this one is, but it looks sick. So it was just the frame before. Look, we've got the Olin's fork, Continental Trail King tires, changed up the components, bar stem, saddle. It's well cool. It's really oh, trick, isn't it? It's so nice. I love it. Just it's a nice one. orange bike. I mean, it's, even in natural daylight, it's clearly red, isn't it? It's, okay, can you just lower your head with your red health air hat? Yeah, and let me just get your next to that. hat with the orange logo. Yeah, exactly. exactly, exactly. Look, that is a match. Show me your hat. It's closer. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, just yes, give it, it a rest. I'm not gonna give it a rest. <laughs> you guys can though, watch this build laps. <laughs>
Hey Ben. Are you wondering who this amateur kayaker is who's found himself on top of a roll-in? <laughs> this is Ben's helmet and I can't believe what I'm wearing. I've forgotten my Red Bull helmet. It's a disaster because now I look like Ben, <laughs> which is a huge drop. I think it's an upgrade to be honest mate. We could make a Red Bull holder shelf on the roof there. That's a good idea. Are you nervous mate? Yep. Nervous wearing your helmet it usually produces terrible results. It does, especially considering how sketchy that is. We've had, yeah, we just added a load of, of the fresh dirt over there that's been dropped. I mean, it was a quick bodge job, but it was something we forgot to do when finishing the roll-in. But now is the moment of truth. We get to ride Brink's pump track, which remains closed. There's still more to do, but I just I am going to take a steady first run. I mean, I'm not nervous or anything. It's just a pump track. Sounds I'm okay. sure I'll get round, but I just don't want to blow out any turns and preserve it because Ben's also got his BMX. And I've got my Red Bull helmet. You don't have a Red Bull helmet. Sorry. Keep dreaming. So I'm just going to roll everything and then lap two, I'll try and manual some bits. And lap three, I'll try and jump some bits. Yeah? Good luck, mate. Thanks. Have fun. Bye. Here we go. So far, so good. That is so good. Rapid. Nice. Yes. Perfect. I've done the best job. Almost cleared that. That's ridiculously good. No one here is going to get any work done ever again. The rolling's perfect actually. I'm so glad we didn't make it bigger. I was going to go with eight foot. That's six foot. So kind of you just drop in, you've instantly got enough speed to do a lap. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> What a cardio ordeal. And you know what? Let's have a look at the dirt, how it's holding up. Because some areas felt soft. No, it all looks brilliant, look. Jamie's done such a good job of getting dust in the cracks. I'm gonna take this off. You probably can't take me seriously, can you? I can't, totally. <laughs> there you go, I'm back. <laughs> Whew, I feel like a new man. That's the fastest bit there. You come downhill, and then when you exit the berm on the inside to come up this way, there was such a draw and a desire to run wide over that sort of yellow pump bump. That's, we need to build that mulch oh, jump. Yeah. yeah, that'll be fast. One more roller there and you'll have enough speed to do backflips for sure. The other thing I felt, and this was always in the back of our minds when we were building it, that this big roller here was a bit far outside for the berm and actually it worked better than I thought, but it's begging for something on the inside. Mm. So with that new dirt there, perhaps we'll build a little inside berm there's a fast S bend. Cause that berm's brilliant. Did that one look good? Yeah, it looked really good. I, did, I was always concerned that it was a bit long, but it's not. You actually zip round it and build speed again. They've got steam engines in the background. <laughs> um, or we put a little takeoff here, a jump. So you jump and land in the berm. That would be cool. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's see what Jamie thinks. It works, eh? It works brilliantly. It's superb. That's it going forwards. We'll try it backwards. I think, Ben, firstly, you should put your own helmet on before I make it drenched with sweat. Thanks. And ride this epic pump shot. It's brilliant. It feels like that, that feeling where you get where you are just going left, right, left, right. That's the cool thing. If we built an oval, I'd already be bored, but this is great. And it's begging for transfers and new bits. So get up that rolling, Ben. Sweet. This wacker plated stuff. Yep. This could do with a handrail. Be a nice little addition. Not really good at right hand berms, Matt. Don't already come up with things that don't make sense. Oh, just leave me alone. Whoa. Whoa. Pump! Oh my god! Oh, it's rapid! Yeah, now you're both Do some jumps or manuals. That bit looks the best. That first bit looks brilliant. He's pedaling in a pump track. Oh! <laughs> Go lap three, make up for that. Performance. What? Did you film that? Yeah, I filmed all of it. Get here! <laughs> Do you know what that's just made me think of? What? There's a guy in the comments that asked us to decorate the whole pump track with the debris <laughs> with the debris we dug up. Yeah. I was going to show that guy the debris that's been dug up and ask him which specific pieces he thought would make the most sense to line the pump track because we've got this section of barbed wire there, which Ben you could have landed on. We've got this barbecue grill, which would work great in the rib cage. There's the tinsel from the digger. That would be all right. That'd be soft. You'd have been okay. Some sort of pharmaceutical product. Oh no, it's tubeless stealing. A crisp packet. You'd have been okay. So I don't know. I think we'll leave this decoration 
for another build. What do you think though? It's really good, it isn't it? It felt way quicker than I was expecting. I think a bit of water, if we can make the whole thing, like those pumps there, yeah. with the whacker plate tarpauling technique, the whole that thing berm, will be so fast, yeah. That berm I love. Yeah, it's fast and you come out into a cambered roller, that whole straight behind you. I'd ride it better the other way. Go on then, let's do it another lap. I'll follow you too. Okay. Go on then, backwards. Yeah? Yeah. You sure you're confident, mate? I'm really confident yeah, today. So I'm following you. That one feels good backwards. In fact, so is that one. The, oh, I like that. Ah, it's getting really dry. It's getting so dry. We need to water it. Bailed out. That's how you go back this way. Woo! It's really good. Yes, mate. Good effort with your helping. Sorry. Shame Jamie's not here. It's actually brilliant. It's never that surprising that pump tracks work, but I've always been too ambitious with pump track builds. The one I did at my compound a few years ago was way too obscene. It didn't really ever work, but this is basic enough to just work for everybody. First go, myself, Ben, both ways, which is epic. I love it. But what it's done is set the foundation now for new limes that stem off of it. The mulch jump we're going to build in the next episode, which is going to bring this place full circle with speed, racing tricks. I love the roll in. I love the way you walk up, drop in with a one-way system. I love the lack of the handrail. <laughs> we need a bit more dirt there. We need to water it, maintain it, teach the guys at Brink how to kind of do all of that. They'll work it out. But um, it's brilliant. The only thing that has to be addressed is this central area, which either needs jumps or landscaping into something epic. So let us know in the comments. Actually, this would be probably anyone in the world would have a different opinion. So what should we do with that? Fishing pond, ice rink, barbecue <laughs> patio, fountain, anything. Solar panels to charge your phone. <laughs> Uh, that's rubbish. I don't know. We could do something better with it, that's for sure. And now it's all built, the digger's been off hired, everything can be dressed up and made to look smart. So it's been nice building an entire pump track that just works and does exactly what it says on the tin. You pump around a track. So good work, Ben. Good work, Jamie. Thanks to everyone indoors at the bike shop who've helped and who have been flat out working on our bikes and loads of customers who are stoked to get their suspension booked in. Come and buy like the whole range of Marin bikes are in there. The e bikes have just arrived at six. So back again for episode four. Legends. Nice Ben, catch it, spin it. <laughs> it actually looks like it's gone in, so I'll just leave it as is. <laughs> oh. <gasps> yes! No!